Hi, this is Lance with Brando Consulting, inventory software expert since 2006. All right, so we're in Fishbowl Go on the packing screen. Go ahead and select one of the orders that you want to pack. Okay. And then here's the new packing screen. So you see where the cursor is flashing? Yeah. It has a product number. So yeah. in the world of scanning, you could scan one of those product numbers, okay? Since you're, you don't have a scan gun and barcode in front of you right now, just select one of those product numbers that are down below. So notice down below it says, here, let me take the mouse just for a second. Notice down below it says unpacked items. Yes. And then here it says carton number one. Yes. So the goal is to move these items from the unpacked section to the carton section. So we would scan an item. We're going to pretend like we scanned it. And carton number one is selected. Okay. So now if we tap this tiny little arrow to the right, it will move this product into carton one, and it will move it off of this area into this carton. So a right. little arrow, boop, and there you go. So now if you want another carton, notice currently down here, we only have one carton. Yeah. So if we're going to have another cart and we click this little add symbol, boop, and now we've got another potential carton to move things into. Correct. And then we can scan the next item and then tap the arrow. That's and pretty it moves neat. those into that carton. Got it. Yeah. So go ahead and take the mouse. Um, we've got one unpacked item left. Just have a quick question here. Sure. You say to scan the item number. Will I be able to scan the item UPC? If the UPC is in Fishbowl, then Fishbowl will read it. Yeah. Will read it? Okay. Mm -hmm. So it will recognize if I scan the product UPC because that's what we work with, all product yeah. UPCs. Yeah. As long as the UPC is in Fishbowl, then Fishbowl will recognize, oh, this UPC goes to this part number and it will... We'll, it. we'll understand okay. it and read it. Yeah. If I move this. Um, yeah. So currently you have carton two selected. So if you yeah. hit the, the arrow, it will move it into carton two. Right. Or you can create a third carton if you want. So yeah. yeah. It's pretty yeah. And you could tell which carton you have highlighted because it's colored in down at the bottom and it's in that little section. You got it. I got it. Yeah. Threw me it off at first when Fishbowl made this change, but I mean, it's very nicely designed. It is. Um, makes perfect logical sense once you try it out. So then after these are done, we need to click save. You find the save button under the top little three dots in the top right hand corner of the screen. And then you can click pack or save. So just like on on the exercise we did earlier on the shipping screen, mm -hmm. we click save and it did save it in those cartons. It just didn't change the status of it to packed. Correct. And we like that flexibility because different companies have different workflows and we can use these statuses creatively for different needs. So I think we have your ship station settings set uh, to grab the entered orders. And I think we might want to consider having ShipStation grab both the entered and the packed. It's up to us. We can do, you know, whatever we want there. Okay. Thinking now about the order process workflow, where now I will do the packing. And let's say if I'm doing the packing using Fishbowl Go, and I did do have a, 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 an order with a lot of items, and I'm creating, let's say I'm creating three boxes like we did here. Now the order is packed and the order is ready to be shipped. Now the order gets exported to ShipStation. But like we tested earlier, ShipStation is not gonna have that information. It's just gonna have one order and you decide what to do with it there. But I have three boxes that I need to print three different shipping label for it. How would I know, let's say if somebody else is doing that shipping part from the other person who done the packing part, how would that person in the shipping machine will know about 
that there are three boxes for that shipment that need to be created that shipping label for. Actually, which product goes to which box? Yeah, so let's go, let's go there. Let's go to the shipping screen. Okay, here it is, yep. Um, so if we click on the carton, it notice it didn't select the carton. Like on this screen, we have the option to select a specific carton type that has dimensions. Okay, does Fishbowl go have the, the carton types that we created like test one and test two? No. It doesn't? No, we can't select a carton type on Fishbowl Go. There's just a carton. There's no carton type. Okay. Yeah, we can select the quantity to put in a carton. That's one thing we didn't show in the in the previous example. Mm -hmm. And if we put the quantity in the carton, it has this little pack button down here. If we use this edit button. Got it. So if we use the edit button, we can put the quantity. That's one thing we didn't mention before. Okay. Now, yeah. And we can actually switch this by tapping a different carton here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now all my concern is between ship station and fishbowl, how would ship station know about how many cartons we created in that shipment? It doesn't. Remember, we, lo we looked at yeah. that? Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. But in, in such a situation, is there any way that we can create, for example, some sort of a backing list that it's divided per carton for that shipment? Yes. Yes, we can use the packing list um, called packing list by carton. So this packing list has an option under modify report right here. We go to options, layout format, by carton. Then look at the packing list. Notice this now has two pages instead of one. Yes. And each page tells what's in there. Okay. Each page says what's in there. So this has two cartons, two pages. So at, at what point exactly do we need to print this page right here? Um, that's the first question. Second question is, can this be the default to print it by carton without having to do the few steps that we that you've done right now? Yep. So um, the setting that I just set called uh, carton um, under the modify report where we said by carton. Yes. And this relates to any report in Fishbowl globally. Okay. This little save button right here, if you click it, it'll save all the settings that you have on all these little tabs, all these report settings as default. So every time you run the report, it will default uh, to those settings. But not just for this specific sale order, for any other sale order. For all future made. ones, yeah. Okay, got it, okay. So we have to sort of be careful. If we're gonna try to create default uh, report design settings, the best place to do that is, uh, let's exit out of here. And the best place to do that is from the report screen. Uh, let's stretch this out. Let's just put in a keyword, go to our packing list. There we go. And we, oh, that's cool. Fishbowl's got a new packing slip four by six. I like that. Um, okay, so now see this one has no shipping number in it. Our options are by carton. And actually this tells me that Fishbowl did not save that. So that's good. That's okay. cool. That actually looks like a, a code improvement. And maybe it's this report specific, but but then we can look at this too. We can select a default printer. Um you're going to inactivate this location group main, or maybe we're going to create a new database, you know, in the Pomona warehouse. Pomona warehouse. Yeah. yeah. You may decide 
that anytime you print a packing list, you want it printed to a specific printer. Shipping number cannot be left blank. Let's just save this. That's fine. And then also notice when we tried to print this shipping label, once we got it all done, like we can sort it by carrier date mm -hmm. or ship to. Sorting it by ship to helps with deliveries and stuff. Well, let's select the order. It's, it's ship to by name, which is the person name, the, the customer name. Yeah. Pick a carton, pick a product. I like using this down here too. So when we first went through, I said, you know, scan the product there, but we can also tap the product there. Yeah. And then we can also tap the carton there. And so we don't need to click the drop down and select. We can just tap, tap and easier. click that. And then we've got one more unpacked item. Let's put it in, boop, this carton. All right, so we've got all the cartons in there. And now if we click pack, it should give us a pop-up saying you wanna print, print packing list. So you can print the packing list right from the mobile device. Okay, let's if you the have your mobile device configured and connected to your, um, connected to your system. If I click yes right now, I think it's going to tell me. It's, it's already printing. Oh, so okay. So we just had to select the printer. That's the only thing that was wrong before. You already did the, the, the printer selection for any future. Right. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I thought the reason it didn't print before is because we didn't have it connected, but that was so nice. That was easy. So once we have the default printer selected, then boop, we can just print away. I did print, print off three pages. Each one would be for a different box. They all have the same information. They all have the same sale order number, the S number. Uh, the only difference Hold is... Hold it up to the screen. Let me see. Okay. Well, it's right here. Nice. Okay. Okay. But another thing, okay, order number, it says customer PO number. We should change that back to yeah, SO oh, number. Yeah, here we go. And that's okay. what it was. That looks better. And then we'll just save those settings, customer SO number. So now it'll default to customer SO number. But it's okay, because the PO number is right here. Exactly, yeah. But it was just very weird that the fact that it added an S to it. Shouldn't be, shouldn't add an S to it. Well, it adds an S because in Fishbowl, you can ship a transfer order, which starts with a T. You can also, in rare situations, return goods to a vendor, which is a purchase order return. Okay. And so you'd actually pick and ship a purchase order, which starts with a P. So Fishbowl knows that, and in rare instances where you're transferring or purchasing, the, those orders would start with a T or a P. Okay. Yeah. We've got different packing slips. You can fold these into a quarter sleeve and put the quarter sleeve on the outside of the box and slide it in there with the barcode facing out in case anyone wants to scan the order number. That's what this barcode is. This barcode represents the order number. Also, be sure to click on the link below or the link in this video to schedule a live demo. Brando Consulting offers uh, inventory software selection services. So for a small fee, we can give you an in-depth, thorough discovery interview. We take that and narrow down the 15 to 20 different inventory software programs in the, the small business market and help you determine which is right for you. And we can set up a demo, help you make the right selection for your company.